is the main event of the night. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Potomac, Maryland, weighing in at 158 pounds, with a professional record of 33 wins, one defeat with 24 KOs. He is the challenger and former undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. And in the red corner, from Brockton, Massachusetts, weighing 158 and one half pounds, his professional record consists of 62 wins, two draws, two defeats, and 52 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBC middleweight champion of the world, marvelous Marvin Hitler. Listen, I gave both of you your, your instructions in your dressing room. I want to caution you again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands and good luck. Good. good. It is April 6, 1987. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy are ringside to call the super fight. Ray Leonard said that the first round is going to be the most important round of the fight. He says he has to win the first round and gain marvelous, marvelous respect. Let's see if he can do it. And here we go. Need I say, Leonard in white and Hagler in blue. And Hagler is not boxing as a southpaw. I just don't like that at all. Why he does that, I'll never know. Part of the closed door strategy this week at the part of Hagler may well have been to work on this coming out at the beginning of the fight, opposite his normal way. And Sugar Ray Leonard throws the first punch of the fight. of the gloves they are the tabbed variety with the thumbs attached to the body of the glove first punch by Hagler clean miss nice combination by Leonard and Hagler's talking to him and smiling at him Hagler said he expected to get hit he just wasn't too concerned about it I'll take anything he can throw Leonard has used all of this more than 21 foot ring so far. A brief flurry, no damage. Boxing Southpaw. Trying to do a psych job on Marvelous Marvin, and now Hagler's boxing Southpaw. Tough to keep up with these guys. There's the shots. Him right now, Len Leonard is floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee. But can he keep it up? 
fainting, moving, moving, fainting. Final seconds of round one. the most effective punch of the round, a straight right hand. He had another good combination late, otherwise not a lot of contact, but some sense of the psych job that, as you refer to it. He got him over and out of his mind already, just keep it up. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Fatal. Work him inside. Right? Yeah. Got him under control. Got him backing up. Can't punch back. It's all yours, son. It's all yours. Just keep messing him around. Look like a man. Box. 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 That's all I want you to do. Jake, you have to steal, right? Round number two, scheduled for 12 under the WBC rules, and at Leonard's insistence. You know, I, just, 15. I just don't understand this. Marvelous Marvin is acting very, very cocky, but you can't let the other guy put rounds in the bank. He's much better as a southpaw, and yet he's fighting orthodox. I don't know why. Just landed a left hook lead. Try to cut that ring off. Tim, if he fights orthodox style, he's not going to win this fight. He's going to have to switch around. Well, that may be only a matter of time until he makes the switch, but it is a good question. It's, I think each of them is trying to get, gain that psychological edge. Yeah, but Tim, the round's going in the bank. You need psych psychology book for a minute to make sure you win the round. Holding and shows a smile to the crowd as Angle banged on his body. Surprising punch for him. Stick it there! Stick it there! on the side job on him. The 1987 version of Sugar Ray Leonard, quite a different look, but some of the same old stuff. A lot of grabbing, though, Tim. Starting to hold early in the fight. Hagler may feel correctly that Leonard couldn't keep that up for too long, doing all of the circling and dancing he did in round one. I'd lo love to know why he's not fighting as a southpaw. Fighting as a southpaw, watching Lennon in camp, he couldn't handle southpaws. Right here by Lennon, combination to the body by, by Hagler. Into the 30-second mark at round two. Good counter punch by Leonard as a lunging miss by Hagler. Hagler now pulls him for the first time in the fight. And Leonard punched his way out of that play. Another combination by Lennon. Final seconds of round two. Another miss by Hagler, and Leonard made him pay again. That's the end of round two. Huh? Just a matter of me getting All right, get to get him. So you got to loosen up right here. 
Look, Michelle Qua, now put it to him. Get the pressure on and get a little rough with the pass. Get that guy out of here. Round number three, scheduled for 12. All right, now let's see. Now he's fighting as a southpaw. Let's see if there's any difference at all. Leonard at the moment circling to the right. And, Gil, you note that he does that more than most fighters do, and in your opinion, should. Well, and he, Tim, watching him in the gym when he did that, he was getting nailed with straight left hands. There he goes to the right, now back to the left this time. first heavy punch of the fight. Much better as a southpaw, Tim. That's why I don't understand him giving Leonard the first two rounds. Well, we scored the ball for Leonard, Now I would expect the judges did as well. They are Dave Moretti, Luke Filippo, and Jose Guerra. Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and Monterey, Mexico. The judges. The way right man. hand lead landed by Leonard. Just a glancing blow, Tim. The way Leonard is moving, he's moving right into a straight left hand. Body shots by Leonard. Shot to the head by Hagler. Stick it there. Stick it there. Stick it there. Again, the movement by Leonard as in round one. Hagler was a little slow getting off that time, Tim. A little slow. Punch them in that exchange. Scoring to the body. Leonard's still showboating. Starting to lose his temper, Tim. Now Leonard, Leonard's confidence is building, and he senses that Hagler's losing his temper. He wanted that. He said, "You've got to frustrate Marvin Hagler." A warning for pushing against Leonard. But that was significant, Tim, because Leonard was able to push the supposedly stronger Hagler back. Leonard's mouth is wide open, Tim. Heavy. Leonard continues to put a lot of miles on those new sneakers. Good combination by Leonard, Tim. Right hand, left hook. Leonard won the round. Third round was a little close then. Nice and smart. Get me? Nice and smart. on their feet early, but the stools were not out of the ring. Left hand lead scored by Hagler. A real sense of purpose on his face now, as there should be.
Well, you know, Tim, we say that the ring is square, it's not round. But so far, Hagler has not been able to put Ray on the, on the ropes or trap him in a corner where he wants him. Missing, missing, missing. Ray's very relaxed in there, thinking all the time. Richard Steele caught a score a couple of points for Rip Lemon. Ray was holding, he's working there. No holding work, and Ray sure did work. Nice combination. Boxing off the back to South. He, he's a little confused by Leonard Tim. I mean, really, he can't find Leonard at all. Straight left hand by Hagler. Got the left hand. Not a lot on it, but not afford it. That's a range, that's what we call a range finder. He's had trouble finding the range thus far. Looks like Leonard to me is going to nail Hagler the other way around. Good move by Leonard out of that corner. Hagler thought he had him there. And now Leonard scores a combination. Confidence seeming to build as each second of the fight ticks away. Good body shots by Hagler. And they're Hag hard punches. Hagler's body punches. He's got to land him. A little showboat punch from Leonard. That brought the crowd alive. Many of them to their feet. A great performance by Sugar Ray Leonard so far, Tim. Great performance. Under 30 seconds in round four. Well, good combination again. Leonard timing things perfectly. I don't know why Hagler's laughing, Tim. The rounds are going in the bank. Landed a left there. Leonard walking away contemptuously. Shook his head and it didn't hurt. At the end of round number four, and from words from Hagler, he's not happy at all with the showboating of Leonard, but he's going to have to find a way to do something about it. That's my man. Why, Ray, when you slide under the guy, stop. Nail him. Don't grab him around the shoulders. Don't grab him around the head. Grab him around the shoulders. Leonard having his own way through four rounds. And this young man who kept saying, the experts are wrong, I can do this. I can make this happen. When you don't have any respect for a guy, Tim, you can do things like that. And apparently, Ray Leonard doesn't have any respect at all for Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Maybe it'd be too hot for you to get caught to, all right? You know what? Snap, speed. Right. All right? Okay. Okay, you okay, man. Okay, Let's get a little water. Five. Did Leonard push him away? That's I would say that this is almost a critical round for Hagler. He's got to make something happen. Good right hand by Leonard. Hagler trying to pull him into the corner, but Leonard will not go. starting to find the range more with his right hand. There it is again. Right hand uppercut lead, and it landed. He's now, Leonard is fighting left. Tim, he's looking to nail, nail Hagler. Got nailed himself that time with that right hook. Hagler still talking. Leonard would hope it's in frustration. And it is, Tim. No question about that. Leonard is definitely frustrated. Short chopping right landed by Leonard. He has landed on the ropes. Can't hit him when he's on the ropes or in the corners. He's, he's going to nail Hagler. 
Hagler again. I can see the punches coming. He just missed that combination, however. Didn't miss that one. Oil gets by Hagler. Leonard tried to make him pay, but Hagler got himself in a defensive position. Ray told me that in the Mugabe fight, Hagler turned completely around when he missed, but Mugabe didn't make him pay. He said, I'm going to make him pay. And you see how he jumped on him then? Hagler's back to orthodox. He just doesn't know what to do. If I were him, I'd stay southpaw. His best bet. Now he's southpaw. Left up by Leonard. Hagler's starting to get the range a little bit now. Yes, yes, yes. Just was starting to get the range. The conditioning of these two athletes is extraordinary. Hagler stolen right by Hagler. He's starting to get the range, Tim. You can just see it. You that, know. that one forced Leonard to grab him. No question, Gil. to set him up. A short left and a hard right from underneath, and that wobbled Ray. Knocked him backwards. Here we see it again, Tim. A little closer range. Here's that uppercut. Right uppercut. Tim, I think this is a key round. Has to be a key round. If Hagler can win this round, he's right back in the fight. But if Ray wins it, it's going to be a long way uphill for Marvin. Well, I felt that uh, Hagler had to make something happen in the fifth round, having given the first four to Leonard, and he did. We scored the last one for Hagler. And so did Angelo Dundee. You can hear that in the corner. Good combinations there by Hagler, counterpunching well. Better timing. Ray, Ray is starting to breathe a little heavy. We can see that near the end of the fifth round. And Hagler's banging to the body, Tim. Three solid body punches. Well, Gail, this has been more than anybody could have expected thus far. Tim, Ray Lennon has already proved what a great fighter he is. Hagler's starting to get, get the range, getting him where he wants him, and Ray is starting to breathe heavy. Ray, Ray now is going to have to nail him with a good punch. He's got to slow him up a little bit. Tried to do it that time. Nothing on it. Nothing on Ray's punches, Tim. Nothing at all. Beautiful move. Great movement there. That was some of the old Sugar Ray. And a right hand lead landed. There's nothing on the punches, Tim. Marvin is very, very slow right now. Tim, too. He's just plodding in there. Well, the face has been furious. Even though Hagler didn't throw a lot of punches the first three rounds, he used up a lot of energy trying to cut off the ring. Is he missing? Oh, and Ray is doing nothing to make him miss. He's just missing. Four punches inside by Ray. Hagler looking a little arm weary as Ray is right there to be hit. Leonard punches back. does not look sharp at all, Tim. Leonard missed with an overhand right. Short right inside, scored on the break. 
Ray Leonard is holding and hitting. Twice Mitchie Steele warned him. 30 seconds to go. Down double six. Marvelous Marvin Hagler looks very, very slow. Short chopping right hand. Jam, jam, jam. Hagler. To get out. Leonard was counting on the slowness of Hagler. He said he's lost a lot of speed. Final seconds of the sixth round. Even when Leonard misses, Hagler's having trouble counting. But he landed a couple of good solid punches in that exchange. Ray looks very, very tired going back to the corner, Tim. Out wide open coming to the corner. Tougher round to score. Close round. Maybe, don't you worry. Please on the other side. There you go. I got it. Put it on my hand. All right. I want you to use your noodle. That's all I want from you. All right. Let's fit. Let's fit, How smart this guy. You're too smart for this guy. No matter yet. Round number seven. Look at that, baby. Round. Seven. All right. A little more pressure. Just keep him backing up. He's, gonna he's weakening up as it is. He's doing two of the punches and flurries. Okay? Uh -huh. Got to hang him up. Rough. Inside, rough him up inside. Right you got to do it now. Throw, okay. more, throw more one punch at a time. Chunk him off. All right? Mm -hmm. okay. You're the boss. Rough him up. Yeah. 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 You heard Billy Petronelli saying no more punches and flurries, Marvin. See what he does this round. We're in the seventh round scheduled for 12. Remember, it was Leonard who wanted a 12 round bout, not Hagler. Hagler is just a little slow getting off, Tim. Gets Leonard in position, by the time he makes up his mind to punch, Leonard's gone. On the other hand, Ray has also slowed his footwork pace, but he landed a good left hook, and he got one back from Hagler. Hagler was a harder punch. Nailed him again, Tim. Solid punches by Hagler. Hagler finding the range, and Ray Moore flat-footed here, now backed up into the Hagler corner. Look at how slow Hagler is, Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Hagler should be doing is just banging to the body. Ray is moving his head. The body doesn't move. It stays there. There he goes to the body. That's where he should be banging away. Ray looks like he has no strength, Then, Well, he was just pushed back by a forearm from Hagler. He's going to have to find it from somewhere. Tim, you know, a well, a well conditioned athlete, and I know Ray, Ray trained for this fight. A little tired now. He should get a second win, and he's going to have to get a second win. Hagler getting Leonard in a flat footed position again, but. Good movement by Leonard when the punches yeah. arrive. And Flurry's back. Those were blocked by Hagler. Just the last game. Hagler's landing the solid punches at this time, Tim. And Ray is very tired. You know, Tim, when you're a little tired, you're a little better puncher, too. You know, you got to be flat for it. Hagler's been able to pick off the last several combinations with his gloves. As he did there, and he smiles and laughs at Leonard and gives him a grin back. Oh, and here we go to Muhammad Ali. A nice combination. Working on the mind of Hagler. And Hagler just keep plodding ahead Those as it worked like style. Those are the solid punches. Yep. Those are the solid punches. He has a little trouble now. Bang into the body. Uppercut scored. At the bell. They don't hear the bell. The end of round seven, the crowd on its feet. Once you're off the rope, it looks like he's hitting you, even though you're not hitting him. I want you off the rope. I want you boxing this guy. You made him miss you three shots in the counter, one shot. No, no, watch that ice, God damn it. Watch the ice. Open your mouth. 
I need a towel on the ice. Give me some deep breath. Going back to the action at the end of the round, a little short chopping right there that came after the bell. The fighters did not hear the bell. Richard Steele so steps in between them. And you're roughing them up good stuff. You have to do that. He's getting Get him against Wolf like you did there. That overhand fine. And bring the upper guts out. That was right. Drive him up. Get a little rough in there. Okay? He's all yours. Eddie Petronelli asking for more aggression. Get a little rough in there. Round eight, a 12 round middleweight championship bout that has more than lived up to its billing. No matter what the outcome now. Good solid right jab by Hagler, Tim. It's almost like a straight right hand when he hits you with it. And as you pointed out in the first couple of rounds, the time out here for something, some tape loose on the right glove of Sugar Ray Leonard. As you pointed out in the early rounds, Hagler not doing well fighting in the orthodox style as a right-hander, doing much better when he turns around. Tim. If he loses this fight because he gave away those first two rounds, he's, going, he's not going to be able to live with himself. Well, here we go. A retape job on the gloves of Leonard. We are early in the eighth round. Unlike many of boxing's observers, Hagler never said this would be an easy fight. He knew what to expect from Leonard. He may not have known what style he'd see, but he knew he'd see a strong guy with a lot of heart and a lot of skill, even if they were somewhat rusty. The one punch that I'd be using if I was Hagler would be a straight left hand to the body to set everything else up. He hasn't been using that as yet. He's thrown out wide. Ray is going to have to get that second win, Tim. Right hand jab starting to land now. And they're stiff. They, they're not just little jabs. They're stiff. Good right, right hook. Right over the glove. That backed up Leonard. Leonard bidding. To become one of only 10 boxers to win three titles in three different weight divisions. I can't believe Leonard's legs, Tim. Moving beautifully. See, there's nothing on Leonard's punches, Tim. Hagler's able to move right through him. Yeah, Leonard hit him with a right hand, didn't move him. He's able to counter with a left hand to the body. Ray, I'd really try to load up and nail Hagler now. The guy's getting overconfident. They tried it. And he took the left and pushed him back. There's those body shots again. Look how much Marvin, marvelous Marvin misses like. But he doesn't get the scope. He misses, he punches again. Leonard's standing there willing to trade. Now well, that's a mistake. And that is a mistake. Punches inside, scored by Hagler. Hagler is breathing very deep now, too, Tim. He's gasping for breath. It's not a one-sided thing here. Another punch after the bell by Leonard. Two rounds in a row. And a warning from Steele for that one. In that uh, event, it appeared that he did hear the bell. Okay, that's the way you got. That's the way you got to fight this guy. Exactly what you're doing. And you got to rough him up. and may take a few shots, man. All right. He took a point of reference, though. That's right. How do you feel, Matt? That's what you're going to brawl this guy, keep the pressure on him, taking his legs away from right now. Yeah. And if you get him against throw, throw the over, got, uppercuts are very good. You know what round this is, baby? Yeah. Number nine. Number nine. Okay. Just a little more. Tape. It's okay now. No, no, no. Give me the tape. Give me the tape. Give me the tape. Take that piece off. Okay, now, Matt. Uh, so no mercy now. You know what I said? No mercy in that somebody. No mercy. That's a dirty bastard, man. Deep breath. Give me another one. No. Okay, you're gonna box for me? Box. Let's go. Let's go, Ray. Dundee tells Leonard to box. Petronelli tells 
Hagler to slug. Get out there and put some pressure on. Be aggressive. Roll with him. You know, Tim, all these fights have ebbs and flows. Now, Leonard was very tired before. He may be getting his second win, and Hagler may be getting a little tired. Could be a telling round in that respect. Vicious body punch by Hagler, though, Tim. Flashy combination, but only one of the punches landed. Was able to escape, however. His footwork continues to be high. It was just so slow getting off when he has Lemon on the ropes. He should let that left hand to the body go right away. And then he can throw the other punches. But he, he looks for openings. By the time he looks, Lennon's gone. Ray Leonard Warren for holding again by Richard Steele. Again, Leonard platformed on the ropes, but Hagler not getting much done. He's trying to hit the head. The body doesn't move. Just bang to the body. Nice combination by Ray. That was the Last best punch of the fight. Hagler straight best down the middle. Best punch of the fight for Hagler. Hagler backing up Leonard into the Leonard corner. Short right uppercut. He's nailing him now, Tim. Right to the chin. That's where he has to put that left hand. Leonard in some difficulty. He hasn't thrown a punch out of this corner. Now he does. Trying to bang his way out. Look at that determination on Ray Leonard. You talk about a champion. What a display. Ray absolutely gritted his teeth. Look at him go. Again, in the middle of the ring. And Hagler stays there and punches back. A right by Leonard. What a display, Tim. You talk about a champion, but he's got that solid rock to move. And Hagler just keeps methodically moving forward. Under a minute to go, round nine. Most of the crowd here on its feet. Trading over there on the far side. Again, Hagler gets the best of it. But Leonard just keeps firing. Leonard is punching in desperation out of Tim. Really trying. What a display. Leonard holding on, and Hagler is slapping his He's tired, body. Tim. Look at those on. Yeah, but he tries to be tricky. Nothing's going to help him, though, Tim. Not when he's tired. Look the way he's tired now. Hagler trying to find openings. He's Maybe flying. a little arm-weary. Gill, he's not throwing enough punches. Well, we said they were going to have to fight, and they're fighting. They're both exhausted from this round. That's the end of this ninth round, and it Straight left hand down the pipe from Marvin Hagler. And then Sugar Ray Leonard coming out of the corner where he had just had his hands up to protect himself and then battered his way out of the corner. Uh, there, there is a round, Gil, where I've scored that round from Marvin Hagler, but you've got a lot of emotion involved here. And I think in the minds of the judges, it's going to be hard to separate what they admire in this performance from what's actually happening. And a good finish again by Sugar Ray Leonard. And so who knows? But right now, as we see it, a very close fight with three rounds to go. going to Leonard on our scorecard. Leonard Later rounds looks going like, to Hagler. Looks like Leonard has his second win, Tim. He's bouncing, moving. Not often you can build something as the super fight and expect to get one. He's already had it here. takes too long to get that straight left hand. He never throws a straight left hand to the body. He throws it wide. Should be straight. There it is wide again to the body. Work it out. 
Gill, at this stage of the fight, you might wonder whether Marvin wishes it was a 15-rounder if he's unable to stop Sugar Ray in the next three. Well, that was the first battle that Ray landed one when he got this fight to be 12 rounds. Those uppercuts of Marvin's started to land now, Tim. Short little uppercuts that Goody Pepinelli told him to use in the corner. He has scored the bulk of the side. Come on, man. scoring punches at the last two seconds. Beautiful combination by Leonard. He just walks away. What's your hand? Halfway through round 10. Tim, I think it's getting to the point where Hagler's going to have to land a couple of big, solid punches. Good flurry by Leonard. Richard Steele is doing a good job as a referee, Tim. Fifty-two knockouts on Hagler's record at 62 victories. Sure he didn't expect to see Leonard still here on the 10th round. Even with all of the respect that he accorded Leonard, knowing it will be a tough fight. Richard Steele continues to warn Ray Leonard for holding, Tim. Now, after a few warnings, you have to do something about it, besides warning. I don't think we're going to see a point taken away from either of these fighters. Hagler is just so slow getting off. Unbelievable. I don't understand why he doesn't fire that left hand to the body. Wild miss on a trick play by Leonard, and he paid for it because Hagler tagged him. They're both dead tired now. Little Hagler is dead, too, Tim. Fight, even in the rounds in which he scores four points. We come to the end of round number 10. Six minutes for the title. Give me that. Six minutes for the title. Put your head down. We only got six minutes. Right, keep it sucker turning, baby. Six, baby. Six minutes, champion. I mean, champion. When he jumps back, like Tony says, Thomas, you jump on him. Jump on him when he jumps back because he wants to rest. You know what I mean? Well, it's the 11th round now. I'm going to get two more rounds. I want two big rounds now. Start dipping to your right. You're not doing it. Throwing it straight away. Get up. Get up, champ. Get up, champ. Angelo Dundee tell Sugar Ray was six minutes away from the championship. Much of that, of course, is a confidence-building psych job. Whether that's the case is in the hands of three judges at ringside. Tim, I think Marvin is going to have to win these two rounds to retain his title, and he's going to have to land some big punches. I have Hagler at 5-4 with one even at this point, but a very close round in the 10th that could easily have been scored for Leonard. Dave Moretti from Las Vegas, Lou Filippo from Los Angeles. And so slow getting off, right. Hagler. He's got the shot. Beautiful combination by Leonard. Right hand, left hook. As Angelo told him, he said, come back with the hook, and he sure did. Another left hook by Leonard. Right hand lead. Tim, it's a jab, but again, it's like a straight right hand. Solid punch. Solid body shot. Hagler and Leonard escapes off the rope. He lands a combination. Boom, and Hagler. You know, you mentioned that Leonard was tired. Hagler's not fresh as a daisy either, you know. He doesn't have too much left. Without a lot of authority, but scoring some punches. The showboat again from Leonard. Well, we have to call him the miracle man after this, Tim. You're not Any, Anybody can have that layoff. 
do what he's doing tonight. He's a miracle man. Never been done in boxing history. Never. Whether he wins or loses. And right now he's winning in my opinion. Hagler went missing wide open target as Leonard just leaned back away from the punches. move by Len. Tim, he has, he has Hagler tamed now, Tim. Hagler can't let that left hand go, Tim. That's, he should be throwing that left hand down the pipe. Just did it in. But that's what he should be doing all along. Leonard has played with Hagler's mind throughout the fight. And by being fresh enough here in this 11th round, as he looks to his corner at the end of the round. Leonard coming back slowly to his corner, but the little flurries that he fought in were enough to win the round the way we saw it. I think so. straight left hand down the pipe to the body. There we go. We've got this close on our scorecard with, with Leonard slightly ahead. I think Hagler has to realize that the sentiment is just going to have to be with, with Leonard, that he's got to feel he's got to knock him out to retain his title. But that's not what they tell him in the corner, Tim. They're talking to him like it's a, an IBM meeting or something. No emotion. Oh, good. Great left hand by Hagler. And look at Leonard just able to pick up the punches, move his head, and escape most of them. And ha ha Leonard flurry against Hagler and now escapes from the corner. Ray Leonard is having fun in there right now. What a story. He's looking at the corner, I don't know why. Well, Tim, we have to call him the miracle man of boxing. He doesn't need any help from the corner. He sure doesn't. Not what he's accomplished to this point. Well, Tim, he's giving this round away, though. Still get ready. You know, the fans think of winning the fight. Than a minute to go on the fight. Now Hagler with a little showboat. Some shuffle back from Ray. Look at Ray Lennon. What a cocky kid. Well, this 30 year old cocky kid, perhaps fainting weariness as he has a few times earlier in the bout, but also showing that psychologically and physically now he's in control. The interesting scoring, Tim. You know, do you, li do you like the plotting guy or do you like the flash? Leonard, busy on the rope. Hagler trying There'll to be keep no 
knockout. No knockout. scores the bout. 115, Marvin Hagler. 113, Ray Leonard. <laughs> Judge Jojo Guerra scores the bout. 118, Leonard. 110, Hagler. And Judge Dane Moretti scores. 115, 113 by the winner by a split decision and new middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Lindner. Marvin Hagler and, and ringside. We'll try and get Ray over here Ray, uh, while we're waiting for Ray. Marvin, Marvin, I know you're incredibly disappointed. What, what's your feeling about the decision? I beat him. I beat him, and he knows it. Everybody knows. I knew if it was too close. I told you about Vegas. No Wait. way, no, no way about it. You know. Marvin, he also said that you had K and O in your right hands. You hoped it wouldn't go this far. Well, you know, I figured I was beating him good. You know. Oh, now, how about the first two rounds? Gil and I thought that you really gave away the first couple of rounds by boxing in the uh, uh, Orthodox South. I stayed aggressive. I took everything you had. I made them fight. Come on. I took the, I won the fight. Well, I know you're tremendously disappointed, but it was a tremendous show, Marvin. This was more than anybody ever expected in terms of a great championship fight. Will you come back? Will there be more for you, Marvin? Will you, will you consider another fight with this one being so no, close? Not with that. No, I don't think with that. I have to talk about it. I have to think about it. All right, Marvin Hagler. Ray, Ray, Ray. All right, a very disappointed Marvin Hagler. And, and it has to be an incredibly elated Sugar Ray Leonard. Ray? You told everybody you could do this. Most of us thought it was impossible, said it couldn't happen. You were absolutely convinced, weren't you? Well, Tim, I am a nonconformist. I made a comeback. It was defiance of history. They said I couldn't do it. They didn't want me to do it. This is Juanita. Don't get concerned, folks. It's only his wife. But you know, it's coming in. It's coming in. But you know, Tim, this is the greatest accomplishment in my life. Thank you. Well, there's no question that it's the greatest accomplishment of any boxer's life, Ray. It, you were here's your mama. You were you were expected to maybe put on a great show and maybe go a few longer rounds than a lot of people thought. Did you really feel that the course of the fight would go the way it did? Uh, Tim, everybody thought. I'm sure you felt the same way. I did. It was an impossible task. Well, like I said, this is the first time a young guy came up against an old guy in a comeback. I prepared myself for one year. 
Tim, I don't know too much more to say. I need to go home and rest. I know you're going to sleep well tonight. You'll be a little sore, but it's been all worth it. It was all worth it, Tim. And I miss working with you. We really do. You and Gil. Well, are you coming back or are you going to stay in here now? Depends on the contract. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. All right. Sugar Ray Leonard, the new middleweight champion of the world in the single most stunning upset in boxing history.